Hey guitar enthusiast, Lauren Bateman here. In this lesson video, we're gonna be doing an awesome song by the Allman Brothers called Ramblin' Man, so let's get into it. Now before I get into what chords we're gonna be using in this song, I just wanna mention, you might see here, on the first fret of my guitar is what we call a capo. So this song is played with a capo placed on the first fret. If you don't have a capo, you can still learn the song, but your guitar might sound a little bit different than mine. So I would recommend getting a capo if you have one. So let's talk about the chords we're going to use for this song before we get into the actual song. So the chords are mostly open chords. We have G, E minor, C, and D. Those are the four basic chords we're gonna be using. And then sometimes what we have is an F bar chord that pops in. But if you're not familiar with bar chords, you can still play this song. What I would recommend is using an F major seven chord. And it's basically a three fingered version of an F chord that you can do that's more geared for beginners. This way you can still play along with the song if you want to, but don't know bar chords. So let's talk about the intro of this song very briefly. We've got three chords that we're gonna play that take up a whole measure, and then the, on the very end, there's two chords that are gonna take up a measure together. So we have a, the G, D, C, and then we'll have a bracket, and the first chord is still going to be C on the first beat, and then we're gonna play G on the second beat, all right? So if I go through that, it's gonna sound like this. It's gonna be, G chord, strum and hold for four counts, D chord, C chord, and then C, G. So one more time, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. It's a little bit more up to speed. We got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that's how we're gonna handle the intro to this song. So let's talk about the chorus section of the song next because this song actually starts on the chorus. Hey everyone, real quick before we finish up this video, if you're enjoying this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you know when I release new content. Let's keep going with the lesson. Okay, so let's talk about the chord progression for the chorus, which is gonna be G, F, G, G. Then it's gonna be G, C, D, D, C, G, E minor, C, G, D, G, G. So there's really nothing repetitive about any of those lines in the chorus. And if you need the chord chart for this song, you can go to my website, laurenbateman.com, look in the song section, and uh, I have all my chord charts listed there for you guys. Uh, so you can go print that out, come back and follow along. So all we're gonna do for this strumming pattern is what, like I said, we're gonna do a down, down, up, up, down, up. So the strumming pattern will be down, down, up, up, down, up. It'll sound like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. All right, so that's the pattern we're going to use. And we're going to do it once per chord. These are all one measure chords, so it'll sound like this. So you can hear that in there. Lord, I was born a real man. Lord, I was born. And we were gonna do that for the entire chorus. So that's the strumming pattern that we're gonna use for the chorus. We will change things up a little bit in the verse. So let's talk about how we're gonna do that. Hey guys, real quick, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up below because it helps YouTube show my videos to more people just like you. So the verse, we have basically the same chords, all right, there, there's no bar chord in the verse, which is great. So for those of you who don't like bar chords, perfect. So we have um, a G chord, a C chord, and a double G chord. G, C, D, D, C, G, E minor, C, G, D, G, G. So it's basically the same thing as the chorus. <laughs> so they made it easy for us. So that's where the repetition comes in, but it's still a lot of chords to remember. 
Now what we're going to do for this is we're going to switch up the strumming pattern. So we were doing that syncopated rhythm in the chorus. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And you could keep doing that if you don't want to switch um, rhythms. If you're not really good at switching between rhythms yet, you can just keep it like. The world's a gamble down in Georgia. You could keep doing that. Usually what I would do is just go to straight up eighth notes. My father was a gambler down in Georgia. And you hear, I'm not strumming the entire chord. I'm not trying to get the entire chord. I'm just kind of hitting the top, you know, three or four notes of the chord. Um, you wound up on the wrong side of the gun. So that's how I would kind of change up the verse a little bit. And if you want to spice it up even more, you could palm mute it. Um, my father was a gambler down in Georgia. Kind of has a really cool, and he wound up on the wrong side of the gun. So it sounds really cool. And then when you get to the chorus, it really opens up the chorus because when you transition, um, rolling down Highway 41. Now we got chorus. Lord, I was born around in May. So you can hear how you go from something really small in the verses um, to something bigger in these choruses. So that is an option that you can play around with on the verses. If you want to learn a little bit more about palm muting, you're not sure how to do that, put a link up here to my palm muting video. You can go watch that and then come back and try that on this song. So one of the, the, there's a couple parts left to this song, and one of them is the solo, which there isn't a big change, but there's a little bit of a change. On that core, on the chorus before the solo, the final chord, we're actually gonna let it ring. So we're gonna play the D. So it's be the I was born a rambling man. Two, three, four. Okay, we're gonna hold that D, let it ring out. And then the solo starts much like the, the intro did, where we're just gonna hold the chords for a four count. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, G, two, three, four. And then after that, you're just gonna play through the progression of the verses in the chorus straight through while the solo goes on. We're not gonna be doing the solo in this lesson video, maybe another lesson, I'll, I'll do the solo. Um, but for this lesson video, we're just going to be talking about the strumming, but that's how you approach the solo. So let's talk about our outro next. So after the solo, we've got another verse that comes in and another chorus that comes in. And then finally we have the outro where they just keep repeating, Lord, I was a rambling man. So all we're going to do on this is we're, we're going to stick to one progression here. And that's going to be G, F, and then double G. And you're going to do that all the way out. I think this song fades out. So if you want to just end on a G on the end, that should work perfectly fine for this song. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson video. YouTube's going to pop up a couple more videos over here. Make sure to go and check those out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my videos. And I hopefully will see you guys in another lesson video.